Bye. Hi, Amini. Hi, Erin. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Can you, um, can you guys, Rhonda and Amini, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Awesome. I, I can hear you, no problem. Great. Um, I think I made it so, Amini, if you want to show your video, I think you can. <laughs> uh, it's telling me you can start your video because the host has stopped it. Not giving you permission. Okay, so if I make you a co-host, um, then you can, I think. Uh, yeah. Can you do it now? Okay, just a second. Yay. Great, awesome. Thanks, Daniel. Oh, Daniel is here. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, so Amini, let me fill you in on what's happening. So okay. um, all of the people that are coming to this meeting, they are watching it on YouTube. There's Our Zoom room is live streaming to a YouTube channel, and that's where everyone is watching it. So Daniel, he is um, on a Microsoft Teams chat with Rhonda and I right now, and he's letting us know what's happening in the YouTube channel room. Okay. And he said there's about a 20 second delay. So everything that we say, they'll get a little bit later. So at the end, if anyone has any questions, we might need to, like, it might take a second for people to hear what you say. So it's, it's going to oh. add a little bit of time, I think, to this whole thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. So when you're uh, interpreting. You oh, what? Sorry. Yeah, I'm just uh, trying to open. Uh, um the PowerPoint, so. Oh, sure, great, okay. So while you're interpreting, um, you don't have to worry as much about like uh, getting everything I say exactly, like just kind of the gist of what I say is probably good okay. enough. Okay. Awesome, thanks so much. Yeah. And also I have some links again. Oh, Daniel, can you let us know how many people are on the YouTube chat? Not YouTube chat, YouTube. Daniel, we, if you're talking, we can't hear you. Daniel? Rhonda, can you unmute yourself if you can hear me? Oh. Okay. Okay, because yeah, I think, um, Rhonda, if you can hear me, if you want to unmute yourself. Yeah, and chime what did in, you how, Well, how, if there are two people right now watching, how late do you think we should wait to start it? Well, usually, usually we wait at least five minutes. So. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. And then maybe uh, Rhonda and Daniel, if you guys just want to communicate, what might actually work best is Rhonda and Rhonda, if you mute yourself on Zoom and then keep the channel open with Daniel through Microsoft Teams. And that okay. way, Rhonda, you can find out what's happening in real time with Daniel and then relay it to us via Zoom. Sure. Yep, no problem. This is Let's getting complicated. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's, that's another thing that it's kind of hard to do it this way because then it's then it's harder for the moderators to know what's happening with um, Yeah. Attendees. Yeah, and, and, and this is an experiment with YouTube. So yeah. we'll see what goes and how the attendance is. Sure. So. Sounds good. So here's hey. a question. Why didn't we um, do it like last time? We're trying something. Well, I mean, we're trying to see if having just to click on a YouTube to like watch a live video is easier for people and that makes attendance higher. 
because we're wondering if having Zoom rooms and just it can be kind of complicated to, you know, get on the Zoom chat or like download it onto your phone or whatever. We're wondering if that's like a barrier to entry for some of the clients and if this is easier. So we're trying to like look at the numbers and see um, who, who will show up to more of them. So that's one of the reasons why we decided to do it this way. So it's just, a, it's just an experiment. If it doesn't work and if it's too hard for the hosts and if there, we don't have as many attendees, then we might just um, keep doing it just with Zoom rooms. We'll see. Okay. I mean, I changed like one or two things uh, in the PowerPoint, but like nothing that'll change, N not any of like the main information at all. I mean, all of that's still the same, so. Okay. I just, I just changed like um, one of the not, like I updated the numbers of how many, uh, how many cases there are now. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, um, I added just like a note to everyone to type their names into the YouTube chat so that we know who came. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Rhonda, how are we looking? Should we start? Sorry, it takes me a little bit of time to like unmute that one and then, uh, you know, mute that one and then unmute this one. Sorry. No, no worries. Um, um, yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's, I, I think we should get going because I don't think it's there's still a just two. Joined. Yeah, but I, so I think we should just get going. Yeah. Okay. Have they typed? No, sure. They have they typed I their names see. into the, the chat? I can't see that they have. No. Oh, okay. But Daniel also asked if he could, they could email me their names and he put my email in it. But I think if having okay. you read it to people, through that would be good. So, sure. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay, well, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna screen share with you guys. Um, and Amene, I'll just check, since Rhonda might be on mute, I'll just check with you to make sure that you can see what's going on on my screen. Okay. But I can you, can, awesome, great. Okay, hi everybody. Thanks for coming to our meeting with some updates about COVID-19. Ahlan bikum gamian. Shukran in intum hadartu el muhadrit al nuharda. El hanit kalim fiha an el malumet wal akhbar el jidida buxus virus kron. Okay, so before we start, I just want to give everyone a reminder, um, please type your full name. So that's your name as it appears on your PR card. Type it into the chat on YouTube and that way we can have a record of your name and know that you watched this today. Uh... رجاء من الجميع الكل يكتب اسمه بالكامل مثل ما هو مكتوب على كارت البي ار في التشات اللي على قناة اليوتيوب بالطريقة دي بنقدر نعرف مين اللي قدر يشوف المحاضرة Thanks. Okay, so one of the things that happened um, last week that was that was very, very different is that New Brunswick is in a state of emergency. So um, a state of emergency means this is not a normal situation, it's special. Um, and unfortunately, this situation requires some really extreme lifestyle changes for everybody in New Brunswick right now. الأسبوع الماضي أصدرت مقاطعة نيو برونزويك حالة طوارئ الوضع حاليا غير طبيعي بالمرة ووضع خاص لأن الوضع حاليا بيتسبب في تغيير كبير جدا في في طريقة حياة معظم الناس. Great, thank you. Um, I wanted to just remind everyone of some facts about this um, virus. 
وحابه دلوقتي ايرين حابه تتكلم عن بعض المعلومات كتذكير بخصوص الفيروس. So there's no vaccine for this virus yet um, and it's spreading very quickly um, and this is kind of an important fact. Most people who get the virus they'll be a little bit sick and they'll be fine about 80%. The problem is that the virus can seriously hurt or even kill a smaller percentage of the people who get the virus, between 5 and 20%. And these are the most vulnerable people in our society. Amina, can you just read those three? Okay. okay. Thanks. حاليا بالنسبه للفيروس حاليا ما في مصل ولا دواء لعلاج فيروس الكورونا. مشكلته كمان ان هو بينتشر بسرعة كبيرة جدا جدا بالرغم من ان 80% من المصابين بفيروس الكورونا مش, بيجر... مش بيحصل لهم حاجة ممكن بس يحسوا بتعب لفترة وبيقدروا ان هم يتخطوا المحنة دي وبيتعالجوا من, ال... من الفيروس بس في نفس الوقت الفيروس ده بيقدر ان هو يصيب نسبة, نسبة في حدود 20 او 25% من, من سكان المقاطعة ودول بيبقى اغلبهم كبار السن وفي الحالة دي هم اللي بيكونوا في خطر اكبر من باقي الناس So right now more than ever We all have to act together and we have to follow the rules and the guidelines in this emergency situation because that's how we can protect everyone in the community. حاليا المطلوب من الجميع ان احنا لازم نساعد بعض وان احنا نحمي 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 نفسنا والاخرين بالمجتمع. Awesome. Okay, so here's an update from today. As of right now, um, there are 70 confirmed cases in New Brunswick, and a, a small minority of those cases are here in St. John, in our city. Um, this means that the virus has now, it's being spread uh, by the community. So many people can have it and not know that they have it, and spread it to other people that they see or that they touch. إضافة للنقطة السابقة إن الفيروس بسبب انتشاره الشديد فحاليا في بالمقاطعة في قواعد وفي تعليمات لازم الكل بيتبعها بسبب خطورة انتشار المرض حاليا التعديل الجديد بعدد الحالات المصابة وصل لسبعين حالة معظم الحالات موجودة هنا بسان جون وده معناه ان الفيروس بينتشر بسرعة كبيرة جدا Okay, so the, all I want to say here is that um, it's possible that there might be consequences um, if people are caught breaking the rules right now Um, and some of these consequences can be, you know, uh, getting a fine or some, some, it might eventually at some point be getting arrested. But right now, uh, the government and the police just want to educate everyone about what the rules are so that everyone knows and that everyone can follow them. حاليا بالنسبة للقواعد والتعليمات الحكومة أصدرتها هيكون في عواقب نتيجة لمخالفة القواعد دي من منها إن ممكن يكون في دفع غرامة حاليا البوليس والحكومة بيحاول إن هم يعلموا الناس قدر الإمكان بالنسبة للقواعد والتعليمات اللي المفروض الكل يمشي عليها بس ممكن يوصل عقوبة مخالفة القواعد والتعليمات اللي موجودة حاليا بحالة الطوارئ ممكن يوصل للسجن. Okay, you probably already know this, but all businesses and stores um, and large gatherings, so um, that means big groups of people at all, they are canceled indefinitely. So we don't know how long they're going to be canceled for. 
في الوقت الحالي كل المتاجر والمصانع وكل الأشياء والمحلات غير المهمة كلها مغلقة تماما لأجل غير مسمى محدش يعرف رح تفتح إمتى بالإضافة إن التجمعات الكبيرة بين الناس ممنوعة تماما So essential businesses like um, grocery stores, pharmacies, hospitals, those are still open. Um, but we sometimes maybe their hours have been affected. Um, and we're going to give you some more information about that. بالنسبه للاشياء المهمه اللي لازم تكون مفتوحه طول الوقت زي متاجر البقاله والصيدليات والسوبر ماركتات الكبيره كل الـ كل الـ الـ المتاجر المهمه كلها مفتوحه حاليا بس ممكن تكون ساعات العمل اختلفت واحنا رح نحاول ان احنا نديكم معلومات عن مواعيد المواعيد اللي الحاجات دي بتكون مفتوحه فيها awesome. The other thing that this emergency means is that um, normal things that we do have to stop, unfortunately. And this means things like going into our friends' houses or children who are not siblings um, playing together, unfortunately, weddings, any kind of dinner with many people and many families, all of these kinds of gatherings of people who do not already live together have to stop. معنى وجود حالة طوارئ إن كل الـ الـ الروتين اليومي لكل الناس حاليا اتغير تماما زيارات الأصدقاء في بيوت بعضهم ممنوعة تماما إن يكون أطفال ما هم ماشي إخوات ممنوع إن هم يلعبوا مع بعض أي تجمعات زي حفلات الزفاف إن الناس تاكل برا سواء بأي مكان أي تجمع خارج أفراد العيلة لازم يقف تماما Okay, you've probably heard this term social distancing but this is um, that social distancing is what the government of New Brunswick has said we are all required to do right now um, and social distancing means we can't meet in person uh, anyone that we don't already live with. And if we have to leave our house, we have to stay two meters away from any person that we don't already live with. معظمكم أكيد ورد علي مصطلح التباعد الاجتماعي اللي هو social distancing وده معناه ان احنا ممنوع ان يكون في اشخاص مش بيعيشوا بنفس البيت يتجمعوا مع بعض نهائيا تحت اي ظرف من الظروف واذا شخص اضطر ان هو بيخرج من بيته لاي سبب لازم يكون على مسافة اتنين متر بعيد عن اي شخص تاني ما مش عايش معاه بنفس البيت لازم طول الوقت تحفظ مسافة بينك وبين الآخرين اتنين متر. Thanks, Amini. Um, this is so important. Social distancing is so important because of how quickly the virus is spreading. Um, so many people have the virus and they don't know that they have it because they're not showing any signs. So this is why we need to stay two meters away from other people so that we don't spread the virus um, without realizing it. لي التباعد الاجتماعي مهم جدا في أربع أسباب منهم الأول إن الفيروس بينتشر بسرعة كبيرة جدا بينتشر من خلال إن الأشخاص يكونوا قريبين من بعض الفيروس بيعيش على الأسطح uh, I was reading Erin. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I thought you might have been, and I was like, oh, but maybe she just knows. Uh, about I that. Know okay. that. How about this one? Uh, I got this. Sure, sure. Okay. No worries. No worries. Um, 
ناس كتير جدا بيكون مصابين بالفيروس بس هم ما يعرفوش بسبب ان الفيروس مش بيبان عليه ما بيظهرش اعراضه بسرعه او في ناس مش بيظهر عليها اعراض في بدايه اصابتهم بالفيروس Sorry, Amini. <laughs> okay, everybody, I wanted to show you guys um, this website. So uh, this website is the uh, Johns Hopkins. Um, if you know about Johns Hopkins, they're a very uh, important medical facility, and they're keeping track of how many cases there are uh, in the world. الموقع الإلكتروني ده ده مهم جدا. وده بيبين الحالات اللي موجودة في العالم كله في كل بلد وده موقع طبي موثوق فيه اسمه جون هوبكنز لو في حد حابب ان هو يتابع الأخبار عليه Awesome So right now um, you, This is the total number of confirmed cases in the world But the, the real number of cases is probably much, much, much higher because these are only confirmed, like people who have been tested. Many people are sick but have not been tested. So this number is actually probably very low compared to the real number. الرقم الموجود حاليا ده رقم الناس اللي بلغوا ان هم مصابين الرقم فوق ال 800 ألف حالة على مدار العالم كله مصابين بالفيروس وبس ده طبعا مش مش الرقم الحقيقي لان دي الحالات اللي تم فحصها اكيد في حالات كتير جدا 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 ما بلغوش لان ما بنش عليهم اعراض فحاليا احنا نقدر نقول ان الرقم الصحيح اكتر بكتير من 800 الف So you can see that our numbers in Canada, like, look, we have 70 confirmed people in New Brunswick. Our numbers in Canada are much lower than the numbers in the United States right now. As you can see right now, the number of Canada are lower than the number of people in the United States. And part of this is because Yes, we in Canada, we have fewer people than the United States, but Canada started practicing social distancing two weeks ago, and the United States did not start practicing early enough. So they're seeing their numbers increase very, very, very rapidly. That's why we are trying to do social distancing in Canada, so that we can keep our numbers lower. Uh, السبب ان الحالات uh, بامريكا اكتر بكتير من كندا اولا عدد السكان بكندا اقل بكتير ده سبب السبب الثاني ان كندا ما فيهاش حالات كتير زي uh, امريكا uh, ان احنا ابتدينا ان احنا نطبق التباعد الاجتماعي وان الناس ما تخرجش من بيوتها غير للضروره القصوى ده سبب ان ده تسبب في ان الحالات قليلة جدا مقارنة بأمريكا. Okay, so why do we need uh, low numbers? Well, we need low numbers of, of disease so that we can flatten the curve. Um, you may have heard this term already before, flatten the curve. Uh, السبب ان احنا ليه ليه محتاجين ان احنا نطبق التباعد الاجتماعي عشان احنا عايزين حاجة تحصل ممكن يكون معظمكم سمع المصطلح ده قبل كده flatten the curve وده معناه ان احنا نحاول قدر الامكان ان احنا نثبت عدد الحالات ان ما يكونش فيه اعداد مصابين كتير بنفس الوقت So because many people will get this disease because there's no, um, there's no antidote for this disease. We don't have a vaccine for it yet. So if everyone gets the disease at the same time, because we didn't socially distance, the hospitals will be overwhelmed. And this leads to many, many, many more deaths if the hospitals are overwhelmed. 
if we practice social distancing and people get the disease, but it's spread out over a long period of time, the hospitals are not overwhelmed and fewer people die. والسبب ان احنا محتاجين ان ما يكونش في مصابين كتير بنفس الوقت ان لو في مصابين كتير بنفس الوقت بيكون هيكون في مشاكل كبيره جدا بالمستشفيات عشان ما فيش مش هيقدروا يستوعبوا كل اعداد المصابين وبالتالي ده بيؤدي الى عدد وفيات كتير جدا زي اللي حصل بايطاليا So, okay, um, so this is another reason why social distancing is so important. We have to protect our healthcare workers. Uh, okay. Okay, but there are other um, essential workers besides healthcare workers that we also have to protect by social distancing. And they, these other important essential workers are healthcare workers, people who work in grocery stores, people who work at gas stations, people who deliver things and truck drivers. If, if these workers get sick and go to the hospital, then we don't have any of these services. And that is a huge, huge disaster. So if we protect all of these workers, then um, we can protect ourselves and each other. Uh, لازم ان احنا نحافظ عليهم بنفس الوقت العاملين بالبقالات وبمحطات البنزين وايضا العاملين بتوصيل الطلبات للمنازل وسائقي الناقلات الكبيره عشان لو دول لو كل دول حد قعدوا في بيتهم ان هم بسبب ان هم مصابين او دخلوا حجر صحي بسبب ان هم مصابين كل دول وظيفتهم مهمة جدا جدا لحياتنا فلو حصل ان هم جالهم الفيروس ده او مصابين ومش بيشتغلوا احنا هنكون في حالة صعبة. Okay, so here's what we do to practice social distancing. We need to stay at home. If uh, we want to talk to someone that we don't already live with, we need to use video call or phone call. We need to wash our hands with soap and water for 20 seconds as often as possible. Um, we need to clean and sterilize our homes and our clothes. Um, and you can go for walks outside your home, um, that's okay. But please be sure to stay at least two meters away from anyone that you do not live with. ومن ضمن الحاجات اللي نحنا نقدر نعملها في الوقت الحالي إن إحنا نقدر نعود في بيتنا ونستمتع بوقتنا إن إحنا لو حابين إن إحنا نكلم صحابنا أو أي حد من أهلنا مش لازم إن إحنا نكلمهم إن إحنا نقابلهم بس ممكن نكلمهم عن طريق مكالمات الفيديو حاجة من الحاجات المهمة إن إحنا لازم نغسل إيدينا بالمية والصابون لمدة عشرين ثانية كل ساعة لو نقدر أو نغسلها قدر الإمكان إن إحنا بيوتنا لازم ننظفها كويس جدا ونعقمها ونفس الوقت كمان الملابس حاجة من الحاجات إن إحنا نقدر نعملها إن إحنا ممكن نطلع نتمشى برا البيت ما فيش مشكلة بس لازم نحافظ على مسافة مترين بيننا وبين أي شخص. Awesome, thank you. So how do we not practice social distancing? We do not meet anyone we don't already live with. We do not go inside other people's homes. We do not uh, go to any stores or businesses besides the grocery store. And if you do go to the grocery store, please do not bring your family, just one person. from your family goes to the grocery store. 
why don't you read those on me okay um من الحاجات اللي احنا المفروض نمنعها تماما ان احنا ما نتقابلش مع اي شخص ما ي... مش عايش معانا بنفس البيت ما نزورش ناس تانيين في بيوتهم آه ان احنا نروح لل... لمتاجر البقاله لازم آه ما نروحش في اي مكان غير متاجر البقاله فقط لا غير ما نخليش ولادنا يلعبوا مع اطفال تانيين آم لما ما تحطش ايدك على وجهك او فمك من غير ما تكون ايديك نظيفه لان ده بيسبب الاصابه بالمرض awesome thank you um so another thing that's really important is please don't let your children uh, play with other children like neighbors children or um, anyone they don't live with and try not to touch your mouth, your nose, your eyes. This is how the virus gets into your body and this can make you sick and make other people sick. I went through that. I you did. <laughs> you're so efficient. Oh my gosh, you're so fast and you're so efficient. Um, okay, so here's what we can do. Um, if you think you might be sick, if you think you might have the virus, some symptoms are um, dry cough, fever, and other things that make you feel like you had the flu. أعراض ال 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 الفيروس بتكون سعال أو حمى حرارة عالية وأي أعراض تانية زيها زي الإنفلونزا. Okay, so if you think that you might be sick. Um, you can go online to the website for uh, the government of New Brunswick. Let me pull this up really quickly. My computer went to sleep. So this is the government of New Brunswick uh, coronavirus website. Many, why don't you just tell them what this website is? Okay. If there is a person who feels that he can be affected by virus, coronavirus, بيقدر ان هو يدخل على الموقع الالكتروني ده ده موقع الحكومة. This website has um, reliable and up to date information about coronavirus. الموقع ده في معلومات موثوق بيها ودايما بتتجدد يوميا لأي حاجة بخصوص الفيروس. So if you think you may have the virus, you can go to this website and you click this blue button, launch self-assessment. Launch self-assessment. بتعرف بتجاوب عليها بتعرف اذا كنت مصاب بالفيروس ولا لا Once you push that button uh, this page comes up and it asks you some questions about your symptoms after you fill out the questions it will give you a recommendation for what to do um, if you need to call someone if you need to stay home whatever لما بتدوس على المكان الأزرق ده راح راح يظهر الشاشة بالشكل ده بعد ما بتجاوب على كل الأسئلة راح يظهر بالآخر زي تعليق بيقول لك إيه اللي المفروض تعمله بعدين إذا كان إن أنت محتاج إن أنت تتصل بحد أو إن أنت بس ترتاح بالبيت. Good. So if you need to call 811, you can. You can also go to this website. It's called evisitnb.ca and you can get an online uh, appointment with a real doctor, just like this through video conferencing. بالإضافة إن هو ممكن بعد بعد الإجابة عن الأسئلة ممكن يطلب إن أنتوا تتواصلوا مع تمانية واحد واحد أو في حل تاني إن إحنا ممكن نزور الموقع الإلكتروني ده اسمه إي فيزيت وده بتقدر إن أنت تحدد معاد مع دكتور وبتتواصل معاه عن طريق الفيديو كول زي ما إحنا بنتكلم دلوقتي. 
Okay, so you go to this website and you click book now, um, and then you just make an appointment and you just meet uh, the doctor in person uh, through, the, through video. Sorry. <laughs> وبتكون قدرت ان انت تحدد معاد مع دكتور وتقدر تتواصل معاه عن طريق الفيديو كول. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, another thing I want to talk about uh, is these two words that you, you may have heard these terms before, um, self-monitoring and isolation. Um, it just means, self-monitoring just means check yourself and your family for symptoms to see if you might have this virus. حاجة من الحاجات المهمة إن إن إحنا للمفروض نعملها ممكن يكون معظمكم سمع سمع المصطلح اللي هو self monitoring ده معناه إن أنت تراقب حالتك وحالة عيلتك الصحية في حالة وجود أي أعراض. Self isolating means that um, maybe someone in your family is sick or someone in your family was close with someone else who's sick. If that happens, your family needs to self-isolate. And that means no one in your family leaves the house for 14 days, not even to get groceries. If you need food or groceries, you need to have them uh, delivered to your house. Uh, إن يكون في شخص بالعيلة عيلة عايشين في نفس البيت شخص منهم ممكن يكون خرج من بيته ووحتك بشكل أو بآخر بشخص قد يكون مصاب أو حامل للفيروس في الحالة دي الشخص اللي ممكن يكون مصاب بالعيلة المفروض إن هو ما يطلعش من بيته لمدة 14 يوم ولا حتى إن هو يشتري بقالة في الحالة دي في حالة إن تكون العيلة دي محتاجة إن هما محتاجين بقالة أو يشتروا طلبات للبيت في ال في الوقت ده ممكن بيطلبوا الحاجات وبتوصلهم لحد البيت. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about before we end is I want to talk about mental health um, because this is a weird situation and this is kind of extraordinary um, in the world. Everyone in the world, I think the number is something like um, almost 50% of the world is social distancing right now, which means staying inside their houses and feeling isolated can be really hard for our mental health. Uh, حاجة من الحاجات المهمة جدا, um, الصحة النفسية. الوضع الحالي وضع صعب جدا في العالم كله ان الانسان يحس ان هو معزول تماما عن العالم مش بيشوف اي بشر دي حاجة صعبة جدا وتقدر ان هي تأثر على صحتنا النفسية وفي حدود تقريبا 50% من سكان العالم حاليا في الـ في الـ معزولين عن كل الناس اللي يعرفوهم فدي حاجة صعبة جدا على الكل. Thanks, Amini. Um, the, so I just wanted to remind everyone that we are all in this together. Um, please, please uh, reach out to us if you need any help. Um, but also the YMCA may be closed, but everyone in our Newcomer Connections program is still working from home. And we would love to talk with you um, if you feel lonely or if you need any help. احنا حابين نعرفكم ان لو في حد حاسس ان هو نفسيا متأثر بموضوع بسبب الوضع الحالي ومحتاج مساعدة او محتاج ان هو يتكلم مع اي شخص حاليا اه الواي مقفول بس كل النيو كاميرز كونكشن كلنا كل موظفي الواي شغالين من البيت ونكون حابين جدا ان احنا نساعدكم باي شكل نقدر عليه لو انتم حاسين بوحدة او في حد حابب يتكلم مع اي شخص مننا. So here are some really good tips. 
for some ways to um, just help keep your mind in a good and a healthy place right now. And they're pretty simple. Um, it's just number one is to stay active, um, keep going for walks, um, do dance parties with your family. That ties into number two, um, have fun. من من الاشياء اللي بتقدر تساعد كتير في تحسن الصحه النفسيه ان احنا نمارس نشاطات يكون فيها حركه نحاول ان احنا نعمل اي حاجه تكون بتبسطنا uh, yesterday mm-hmm. sorry yesterday my husband and i had a dance party with two of our friends we called them video chat and then we had a video dance party and it was very fun and active at the same time ايران بتقول ان امبارح هي وزوجها عملوا حفله رقص مع اثنين من صحابهم عن طريق المكالمات الفيديو ودي حاجه فعلا حسنت نفسيتهم خلتهم يتبسطوا ويعملوا انشطه حركيه في نفس الوقت. So um, another thing that's really important is try to keep a routine. Uh, try to wake up um, in the morning, try to do um, things with your family throughout the day at the same time, just to make yourself feel, uh, give yourself some, some stability. من الحاجات المهمة كمان بالوقت الحالي إن إحنا نحاول إن إحنا يكون عندنا روتين يومي بنعمله كل يوم ده رح يدينا شوية إحساس بالاستقرار. So exercising your brain is another really important thing to do right now. Please um, read books. You could practice English right now. This is a great time to practice English. Um, anything you can do to just keep yourself mentally engaged. من الأشياء المهمة أيضا تدريب تدريب المخ بحيث إن إحنا وتدريب العقل أقصد. ده وقت مهم جدا ان احنا عندنا وقت فراغ كبير نقدر فيه ان احنا نقرا كتب وده وقت كويس جدا ان احنا نتدرب على اللغه الانجليزيه. Another important thing right now is um, to stay calm and not to panic. We are, we are all going to be okay even though this is a really serious situation um, but we definitely don't need to panic right now. من الحاجات المهمة برضو إن إحنا لازم نحاول قدر الإمكان إن إحنا تكون أعصابنا هادية ونكون هاديين لأن مش هينفع إن إحنا ننهار لأن ده مش هيفيدنا بأي حاجة فنحاول قدر الإمكان نحافظ على هدوء أعصابنا. It's also really important to keep in touch. We may feel lonely and isolated, but we can call each other. We can video call each other. Um, we can see each other from far away and yell, hi, I miss you, I love you. So please, please do those things right now. And also important to us that we are on a communication. It's not a communication that we are in the same place. We can see our friends and we can see them from far away or we can talk to them and talk to them on the phone. Another way, a great way to keep your Another way, a great way to um, keep yourself mentally healthy right now is to help volunteer. Um, if you can donate money, donate money. If you can um, make things for other people, make things. If you know of anyone that needs uh, groceries or food, make it for them, buy it for them, leave it on their doorstep. Um, any way that you can think of to help other people is going to help you feel better also. من الحاجات اللي بتحسن كتير جدا الصحة النفسية إن إحنا نساعد الآخرين على قدر الإمكان ممكن عن طريق التبرع بفلوس للآخرين ممكن كمان إن إحنا نعمل أكل لحد ونسيبه قدام باب بيته لو حد محتاج ممكن لو إحنا خارجين إن إحنا نشتري البقالة بتاعتنا نقدر إن إحنا نشتريها This last one, uh, know the facts. This is really important. This just means make sure that the information you have is trustworthy and reliable. 
حاجة مهمة جدا ان احنا لازم نميز بين المعلومات الصحيحة والمعلومات اللي ممكن تكون اشاعات مش صحيحة فان احنا نعرف الحقائق ونعرف المعلومات الموثقة دي حاجة مهمة جدا This is really good for your mental health to know that the information you have uh, is true and trustworthy مهم جدا لصحتك النفسية ان انت تكون عارف المعلومات الصحيحة So this is a great website. Again, this Government of New Brunswick website, you know that this information is true and you know that you can trust it. مكان مهم جدا نقدر نحصل منه على المعلومات الدقيقة موقع حكومة نيو برونزويك ده موقع نقدر نثق فيه إنه هو بيقدم المعلومات الصحيحة. This website also has a link to um, met some tips for your mental health right now because this is such a hard time. If you click this link, it brings you to this page. And there are a lot of resources here with some phone numbers you can call um, to talk to someone and some more tips for um, how to help your mental health right now. Uh... الموقع الإلكتروني ده برضو فيه حاجة مهمة جدا بتساعد بتقدر تساعد للتحسن الصحة النفسية في أرقام تليفونات نقدر لو في حد حابب إن هو يتكلم مع أي حد محتاج مساعدة حابب بس إن هو يتكلم في أرقام تليفونات بنقدر نتصل عليها. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Does anyone have any questions about anything? I know um, maybe Rhonda, I don't know if Daniel can, uh, if he's still on the YouTube channel or not. Um, yep, can you, he's, uh, he's got it. Amani, could you ask anyone that's watching on YouTube if they have any questions for us and they can type it into YouTube? Okay. That's what, yeah, that's what he's doing. So he, there's, there's three people there and I know their names. So, okay, great. Yeah, they can type it. Okay. Erin, بتشكركم كتير وشكرا ليكم كلكم على حضوركم وفي حد عنده أي أسئلة أو استفسارات اللي عنده أسئلة بيقدر يكتبها في الشات في اليوتيوب. Rhonda, if anyone types anything in, uh, could you just let us know? Did you, uh, sorry, um, yeah, there is a lag, so let's just give mm -hmm. a little sure. try. I'm just waiting. Yeah. No problem. I got it. Um, there is no comments or questions. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay, well, um, if anyone is still watching, thank you so much for coming and please share this information and these uh, websites and resources with um, anyone that you know. Shukran giddan li kulli li kienu mawgudin wa yarid tisharku kulli l-maalumat zi ma' kulli l-nas li ta'rafuhum. Danielle, I see that you just popped on. Do you have anything to add? No, good luck. Thank you. Okay, thanks everyone. I'm gonna end the meeting now. Everybody stay safe. We love you and we miss you.
شكرا لكم كلكم ويا ريت الكل يكون بامان وبسلام